Uh, so we're back for the semi-finals here at Pop Lot Super Series. Uh, this round we have Henry Sams versus Will McDonald. We saw Henry Sams earlier playing sort of a blue moon, blue red control deck. Um, and then on the other side we have Will McDonald back again with his Merfolk deck. Uh, so this should be an interesting matchup. Henry being one of the few decks in the field that actually has main deck board sweepers. Um, he is pretty much a hard control deck, so he does have a lot of removal. Um, but most of his lands are also islands, so yeah. Will's creatures basically have unblockability. Yeah. Um, Blood Moon not being too effective. Yeah, and Blood Moon sort of being a little awkward. It does shut off the Muta Vaults, which is non-zero, because Henry is really heavy control, looking to answer basically most of the creatures that come out of Will's deck before winning. Uh, so I think but, like you cast Blood Moon if you're in a position to, but it's not yeah. like a priority to get yeah. up. Um, an interesting aggro creature, or a creature-based deck versus control deck. Um, mm -hmm. Unlike white-based control decks, Henry doesn't have access to like a hard wrap. Um, he has things like... Uh, he has Anger of the Anger Gods. Of the yeah. gods. Yeah. But, as I was just saying, he's one of the few decks in the field that actually has main deck sweepers. Yeah. So, something capable of producing sort of card advantage um, on the board, as opposed to just drawing cards. Um, Henry does actually also have the suite of Ancestral Visions, which do present real card advantage. It looks like Will is mulliganing here. Uh, I believe Henry has kept. We'll just be getting the hand in a moment. Hopefully Will can keep on six here and we can have uh, a good game. Okay, Will just looking at his hand. Looks like he's got a couple of lands in an island of Mutavolt and then presumably a couple of creatures. Uh, most of his deck being creatures, really. And he's going to scry, and it looks like he's going to leave that one on top. Alright, so Will's Mulligan has left him with uh, two islands, a Phantasmal Image, a Master of Waves, Master of the Pearl Trident, and Mutavolt. Okay. Um, on. Henry's side, we've got a Flooded Strand, an Island, a Snapcaster, a Lightning Bolt, a Roast, a Lightning Bolt, an Electrolyze. Ooh. He is prepared! Yeah, Henry is very well set up to win this game, I would say. Um, with Will on the mulligan, sort of having a slightly awkward hand, um, but Henry just has all of the spot removal. He's just going to be able to answer basically the first, you know, what was it, six threats or so that Will is able to play. Um, We see that Will is opting to play the Mutavolt on turn two, rather than just run out that Lord, sort of, with nothing else on the board. Um, okay. Henry draws and finds... Cards. Magical cards. It was a magical card. Uh, I believe it was blue in colour. A Theron Visions? It's possible it was that serum <laughs> Um So we're, we're not really doing much. He is on a mulligan, um, but any anything he gets out, Henry is just gonna pew 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 it. Yeah, pretty much. That's sort of the awkward thing. I mean, Will's hope in this game really is going to be resolving a Master of Waves, yep. and pretty much once it's resolved, I don't know that Henry really has very many ways to deal with he it. He has a cryptic command. Yep, sure, so he can, can crypt it to bounce. Yeah. Um, other than that, he's pretty much just... Yep. He just has to counter it. Um, yep. So Which we'll see has, how that goes. If, if Will lands a cavern, that's obviously going to be yeah. impossible. Um, Henry's found time to tap out for for uh, sorry for Ancestral Visions. Um, this Mero Rejury is going to, to be removed. Um, obviously, it, it means that... Will's not going to get up to any shenanigans on tapping and tapping everything. Um, yeah. Usually a lot better when you've got like an Aether Vial in play. Yeah, definitely. Um, sort of interesting that he chose to run out the Regery there. Um, 
probably just a matter of mana efficiency, I imagine. Um, we do see Electrolyze come down and answer that at Sorcery Speed. Uh, which, this is going to be the turn, I imagine, if Will can hit his land and he can play the Master of Waves, he can potentially have that sort of stick on the board. Um, it won't be a very big Master of Waves, but it doesn't really need to be because it's going to be very difficult for Henry to really interact with it. Um, he would have to find one of his few creatures. Uh, he has four Goblin Dark Dwellers, uh, some Snapcasters, and some uh, one Pier and Kieran Nalar, I think. Um, so those would basically be his outs at that point. Um, and if Will was ever able to stick a Lord on the board, giving the Master of uh, Waves unblockability would basically remove Henry's ability to ever deal. Okay, so we see Will plays out the Lord. Henry answers with a Roast now. Henry just considering whether to take damage from the Steam Vents. Seems pretty safe to do so. He's really just not under very much pressure at all. Um, plays the Steam Vents and passes the turn. So just representing sort of any of his counter magic suite here. Okay, so we see a Spreading Seas just come down and hit one of the Steam Vents. It's less effective in a blue deck. Yeah, it's a little little worse when your opponent's already playing Could you you know, a huge number of side, islands. Sideboarding them out? Uh, it's always so difficult to sideboard something like that out, just because it can trips, and that is a lot of the power of Merfolk, is just having you know those sort of eight cards with the Silver Gill Adept and the Spreading Seas yeah. that sort of do something and can trip through. Obviously giving Henry an island isn't really a real thing, but it is, it is something, and it's something to do on a lot of these turns. Yeah. Plus it adds Devotion, which just sort of sits there for the Master of Waves. Bull just hasn't got a board presence. Yeah, he's just really struggled to ever get Sticks. anything on the board and then stick it there. I mean, he's only played two threats, and as we saw from Henry's opening hand, he was able to deal with, yeah, like five or six threats straight away. Like, Henry's got an ancestral vision that's going to come off very shortly, and I don't even think he needs it. I think it's just going to add more gas. He's just drawn an Anger of the Gods. The Lightning Rod in his original hand is still there. He hasn't even used it. Yeah, and then he's got a Snapcaster as well. Uh, yeah. It's going to be awkward for Henry here to spend his manner efficiently and spend his cards efficiently his basically ancestral visions is going to come off and because will hasn't played enough creatures henry's probably going to have to discard um, depends whether he chooses to play a blood moon here i mean i, I think it's more of like he could but he probably doesn't need to it turns um, off mutavolt which is will's only form of attack at the moment, um, but he, he's got ways to deal with that. Interestingly, he's left up. <laughs> the Steam Vents with Spreading Seas on it, which I believe means that it's a mountain now. So we look at the layers. Originally it was an island, and now it is a non-basic. I believe the it judge is, a is non -basic now basic checking. mountain. Yes, I, I believe the way the layers work out is it's a steam vents, which is an island mountain, which is then going to become an island with spreading seas, but it's still non-basic, so it's a non-basic island. And then Blood Moon is going to come down and make it a non-basic mountain. Yeah. We're doing well here. <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank the judges for clarifying this yeah. to the players because we'd sit there with our hands on top of each other being like, this thing happened, and then this thing happened, and then this thing happened, <laughs> but we still can't give you an accurate answer, so maybe like a few more things happened. Yeah, uh, but we do see that that Mutavolt is completely shut down here as well, so that just leaves Will with basically no offense. He tries to play the Silver Gill Adept here, uh, reveals a Lord, uh, well, Master of the Pearl Trident, um, to get that into play for two mana, gets the draw his card, um, yeah, plays another land, and plays out the Master of the Pearl Trident that he just revealed. Um, awkwardly, with Silvergill being a 2-1 yeah. on its own, uh, the, the Master of the Pearl Trident really doesn't rem like take it out of range of any kind of removal. Yeah. Um, like, Electrolyze still hits it. Yeah, Electrolyze still kills it. Um, yeah. 
so not as excellent. Okay, and we just see an anger of the gods here. Henry just not trying to s sit on that too much. Okay, and we see a spell pierce back. It's a bit of a blowout, but I don't think... Like, Henry's on 17. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a pretty, um... <laughs> Suspends the other one's astral visions. That, I mean, that turn sequence basically played out about as well as it could have for Will, though. He ended the turn with getting to trade his one mana and card for three mana and a card, uh, and keeping his two creatures. So he can actually get in for some damage this turn. Yeah. So, realistically, that was actually pretty good. This was really good for Will. Like, yeah. that was a really good scenario. You take out... Like, they got deck lists. He knows that Henry may be running three Anger of the Gods, but if he'd had them, he would have cast a little earlier. Yeah, um, I do like that Henry didn't try and sit on that for longer. He just ran it out there and uh, was happy to get a two for one. Um, but we do see now that Will is able to play Curse Catcher and then Master of the Waves. And that's going to produce, what is it, six tokens. Yeah. So whilst Anger of the Gods can't hit Master himself, he can hit the tokens. Yeah, he definitely can. Um, so we'll see whether Henry... He, he drew a land there, so he does have the ability to get to 5 mana. Um, so we'll see if he just goes for something like a Snapcaster Anger of the Gods. Yeah. Um, just to answer everything but the uh, Master of Waves here. Um, I don't imagine there's too many other plays that he can realistically make, unless he just has another Anger of the Gods in his hand. Obviously they're not needing the Snapcaster. Uh, but uh, the curse catcher would shut that off actually so he, re he, he basically does need a second anger of gods in his hand uh, so Will's basically been able to maneuver this game into a really excellent position for himself it's true uh, um, it went from Henry having almost the nut hand for this matchup yeah. to you know, a spell pierce buying him back into it um, Henry's gonna have to loop something like cryptic into anger of the gods, uncounted both, uh, or okay, so we goblin dark see dwellers goblin anger of the gods. dark dwellers for anger of the gods, but uh, you're still casting that spell from the graveyard. Does so just do the thing? Yeah, so that's I think I think Henry was basically just seeing if Will would maybe miss it. Um, that that's I think like if, if that's your only out you got to play for you got to put on that poker face and you got to bluff. Yeah, because I think it realistically was his only out. I don't think he had enough red sources. I don't think he could get to enough red sources to string together enough removal and play something like a peer in Kieran Nalar and still realistically be in the game. Uh, Will reveals a phantasmal image and says, you know, my elementals were going to be gigantic. If you <laughs> if you didn't have the second anger of the gods, then you know, oh well. Um, yeah, so we really saw sort of the power of fish to come back there. Yeah. In the early turns, it really didn't do too much. Played a couple of creatures that just got killed on sight. Uh, can tripped a few times with Silvergill Adept and Spreading Seas. Um, and then just had a couple of turns that were really explosive. Uh, How off different the back do you think it was if Henry had had that dispel? Uh, if he could have counted back, or if he'd... See, the awkward thing there is even if he just hit a land, like that was sort of yeah, the problem. Yeah. He went through his turns and then he drew three cards off Ancestral Vis Vis Visions yep. and couldn't hit that fifth land drop. If he could have just hit that fifth land drop, it would have been completely different um, to just make sure that, that Anger of the Gods resolves. Um, but yeah, just sort of a little bit awkward there for Henry. Um, well played by Will though to sequence everything in such a way that he can play sort of a couple of creatures in one turn and then protect them with the spell pierce. Um, so going into the sideboards, from Henry's side... We've got the Boom Busts, two, <laughs> two, uh, the third Blood Moon, a Karanos, a Gutshot, Counterflux, is it Staticaster, um... Vandal Blast, Negate, Dispel, Pier, and Kieran and Butterskull. Mm -hmm. I could see like Staticaster. Yep, I think you bring in Staticaster. Negate, Dispel, so some combination. Just for like some, some cheap counter magic. Probably Dispel though. 
Um, yeah, realistically, I think it's Dispel. I think it's just to fight counter wars, so yeah, Dispel looks um, like the best option. I think you probably bought out some of your main deck counter spell suite yeah. um, to bring in the Dispels, just because your opponent... Uh, realistically, Fish is going to play sort of cheaper counter spells, yeah. and Cryptic Command, like while it can tap down their team, it's just like a very expensive card yeah. in general. You definitely don't want to. Um, it's such a clunky draw. It can't be flashed back with Dark Dwellers, yeah. and it can be really ineffective at times. Uh, I think like you know your spell snares are always going to have a target unless they're mono filing in. Is it <laughs> going to be generically good? But I could see bringing it out. Um, I think it's good enough that you probably just leave it in there. Um, the question is kind of whether you would consider Vandal Blast just to answer the Aether Vial. Um, I contemplate this a lot when I play Blue White Red. Like, sure. do I want to answer this Aether Vial? And I think it, it largely depends on your board wipe suite. Sure. I, I don't think relying solely on anger in, in a game where their creatures can go to, you know, for, you know, X4s or X5s mm -hmm. is, is reliable. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, bringing in a hate card solely for, you know, one, one, one mm -hmm. card. Is, is very peculiar. We could be faced with that situation we saw earlier where um, Sean brought in three destructive revelries against Henry and at the end of the game, Henry was on one and he had two destructive revelries in hand. Yeah, um, definitely. I think it can be a very dead card. I don't think I'd bring it in. I think you want to just spot removal, spot removal, clear up some guys, counter the master of waves. Hope it doesn't get filed in. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know. I think I come down on the other side of that. I think I bring in those just because i think if you're an aggressive deck so you're something like a zoo or something like that where you want to spend your mana doing something proactive you don't want to really bring in those cards against aether vial uh but when you're an answers deck a control deck that's looking to drag the game out i just don't think you can sort of allow that aether vial to sort of counter all your counter spells um and allow your opponent such a huge mana advantage um because i just in, in say yeah like in a more aggressive deck it feels pretty bad to just sort of turn one or two spend your mana to vandal blast the I mean, aether so I think because henry's on the play yeah, yeah maybe, maybe it's not so bad because if, if henry goes land go and henry uh, will goes vandal blast go will uh, henry can fetch vandal blast in his, his own turn yeah i mean that's it and he has a few one drop plays as well that sort of make that work out um yeah, I mean, that does all rely on it being in the opening hand, but I think that's kind of... I think that the payoff of getting to Vandal Blast and Aether Vial on sort of turn one or two of the game is good enough that you, uh, you're you willing to forego the fact that it's a pretty bad draw on, you know, like turn <laughs> 10 or something like that. I think by turn 10 you're hoping to evolve, resolve, like, three visions and... Yeah, by turn 10 I think you're hoping to do some things. <laughs> um... <laughs> Anyway, on Will's side, we see two Dispel, two Tidebinder Mage, two Vapor Snag, two Relic of Progendus, one Kira, Great Glass Spinner, one Echoing Truth, and four Hercules Recalls. I don't think this is the Tidebinder Mage matchup. See, that's an interesting thing. It just depends whether the body is just good enough. Like, you just want to have lots of bodies. Sure. Um, yeah. It's obviously not going to be excellent. It does lock down Henry's creatures. I just don't think he's that upset about that. Mm, no, it, um, it locks down Pierre and Kieran and Goblin Dark Dwellers, and that, that's it. Yeah, uh, but that's most of uh, Henry's sort of actual like attacking suite, I think. Um, but I think the dispels definitely come in. Um, Kira definitely comes in, I would say, you're against the Nancy's deck. Other than that, uh, there's not too much, like, you could consider Relic as it sort of pseudo counters um, Goblin Dark Dwellers and Snapcaster. Um, but, yeah, that that's basically it. Um, I imagine you're pro like, it, it sort of depends. Like, if you were going to board out the Spreading Seas, and potentially the dismembers, you maybe get to enough cards where you're just bringing in Tidebinder Mage just because, yeah, it's a body. Sure, it's something it's better than something that doesn't do anything. You are technically correct. <laughs> yeah, which um, is the best kind of From our end here in the commentary room, we got light again so we can finally read deck lists. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is refreshing and it is lovely. Um, thank you. It's good to see you again. Okay, so it looks like we've got some keeps. Players showing their hands to spotters at the table. Uh, and we see Henry leading off with that, uh, what is it, Wandering Fumeral? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, um, from Henry's end, we've got 
Wandering Fumeral, Goblin Dark Dweller, Sarah Vision, Spell Snare, Mountain, Pierre and Kieran, and uh, Assault the Falls. And From Will's End, Relic, Merrydry, Kira, Aethervile Island, Harbinger, Silvergill. Yep. Not an explosive start from Henry or a very, you know, answery kind of hand. Um, Will's just going to do his thing. Yeah, and we do see that Will did bring in those relics to answer the uh, sort of flashback yeah. suite from Henry. Um, and we do see that Will has played that turn one Aethervile. So that's going to give him the ability to, yeah, avoid counter magic and also basically double his mana because he did play it on turn one. Um, yeah, and we see that Will just plays the relic there on turn two. Um, he has kept a one land hand, but with that Aethervile... I think it's going to work out reasonably for him. Yeah. Um, so we see Henry just hitting his land drop there and casting the boom bust. So boom. <laughs> not, not, no pun intended, but boom. This is the boom side of it. So Henry is looking to destroy that one land that Will has. Um, Gonna go for it. <laughs> wondering what Henry is going to destroy of his own. Chooses to destroy his mountain. That's fair enough. Um, I could almost see a situation where you destroy your steam vents there. Because it's your only island. <laughs> Oh. But I don't, I don't know how real that is. I like, see, this is the situation where you really want Vandal Blast. Yeah, I mean, Vandal, really Bl Vandal Blast. <laughs> Vandal Blast would have been about the sickest possible. There, like Vandal Blast your Aether Vial, okay. Uh, boom Bust your land, okay. <laughs> um, but we see Will has found a Muta Vault there. Plays out the Muta Vault, and at end of turn, he just viled in the Curse Catcher there, and now he ticks up his Aether Vial. So, yeah, despite the fact that Henry has sort of attacked his lands and Will stumbled on lands a little bit, he is sort of going to get spells cast um, in this game. Uh, and we see a violin on Master of the Pearl Trident. Yeah, look, I can see this going well unless Henry picks up a couple of bolts here and there. Mm. I see what you mean about sacrificing the Steam Vents. Um, it... it He's got a Sulphur Falls in hand. It would have worked out perfectly. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Like, he has Sulphur Falls. Um, Wouldn't and he also does have the Pier and Kieran. Um, so he is in sort of the medium length yeah. uh, game state going to have blockers. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we see Henry play Sulphur Falls and then roast the Master of the Pearl Trident. And, yep, we see Relic just slowly eating away at the graveyard, getting rid of cards from there. Um, Henry choosing to keep the roast over the boom bust, um, which, yeah, seems like a reasonable choice. Um, I think he does have a bolt there. I just don't think he's all that bothered about the curse catcher. Um, just going to save that for... You know, a bigger threat like a, a lord or something like that. Yeah, we see Will finds a cavern of souls and just plays that one out there. Um, he also notably ticked up Aether Vial 2 3. So we're going to see like a Merry Jury, Master of Waves. Yeah, see, that's it. It's like it could be a Merry Jury, but realistically, you don't tick up the, uh, the Aether Vial. Unless, yeah, you're going through, like, three on the way to Master of Waves, I think. Um, we see Mutavout get activated and just attack in there after having Vile in a Kira Great Glass Spinner. So, that Lightning Bolt in Henry's hand is looking pretty terrible right now. It's not even, like, counter it unless you play one. Play one, sorry. Yep. It's just <laughs> counter it. It straight up just gets countered. Um, we do see an island come off the top for Henry. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what his options are here. I think like... Okay, so he just goes for land, uh, pier and Kieran. Yeah. So that gives him some flyers to prevent Kira from being able to attack. Um, and because he has kept the board clear of lords, 
up until this point, uh, the Curse Catcher and the Mutabolt also probably can't attack super well. Um, Unless he biles an old uh, um, yeah, but Meridri not giving the island walk. It still right? gives a plus so, one, plus one, which is yeah. pretty good. Um, it does mean that Will's going to have to kind of tap out for it, though. Um, so he chooses not to tick up the Aether Vial there. So it tells you a lot about his hand. Yeah, that probably tells you that he has another three drop. There's, like, there's modes in fish, right? Yeah. Most of the time, you just keep it on two, and you're okay with that. Mm-hmm. Um, you take it up to three when you've got one to two three drops and you don't have the lands for it. Sure. The problem is here, if Will's got any lords in hand that aren't Mirror Redoing exactly, he's not going to be able to cast them. He's got one colorless source. Mm. Um, he has no blue mana for things like Spell Pierce. Um, yeah, I mean, that is the very real cost of the Mutavolts. Yeah. Uh, and he gets in there. Like, if, if he loses that Mutavolt, what then? Yes, yeah, so we have a Mutavolt activation and then an attack. Uh, this really looks like a Mera Rejury, but I mean, at the same to, time, he's bluffing it. I mean, that's it. It's like, it's, it's kind of an easy bluff, right? Like you say like, no, I'm not going to tick up my Aether Vial. Yeah. I'll attack my creatures in there. They can just get blocked and killed. Like, yeah, go ahead. I think like you put Pierre and Kieran in front of the Curse Catcher, right? And I think you just like, you let that sit and you just, you just kind of do that. Henry's not on a life total where if he... Oh. We do see the vial, and it looks like it's going to be the Ragery. I would have liked it more if it was a bluff. It'd be really great if he like untaps it and he's just like, oh no, I'm not going to do that this time. <laughs> <laughs> just like the double plays. Okay, so we see the Curse Catcher trade with the Peer and Kieran, which seems pretty horrible, but at the same time, it does sort of chip away at Will's ability to prevent Henry from casting spells. Yep. So... It's not the best thing that's ever happened to Henry, but it's also probably not the worst. Uh, we see a Snapcaster come off the top for Henry. Um, Snapcaster actually being pretty decent right here. Um, just because we can have, say, Lightning Bolt countered by Kira, and then Snap Bolt uh, to just actually get rid of it. And because Will has been so choked on mana, he isn't able to leave up the mana to activate the uh, second ability on Relic of Progenitus. So he's only able to exile one card at a time. I'm not sure whether Henry has any cards in Graveyard, though. So well, As you can see, most of them are exiled. Yeah. So there's exile powers just be on the deck and no Graveyard. There's like kind of shipping away at it. I think if he cracks Relic at this point, it'll probably just be to draw a card or is... Yeah, so that's it. He can't crack Relic. He can only activate. So if Henry even has oh, he one... Does have, he does have a graveyard. Sorry, I believe there's a lightning bolt in there. Yeah, so there's the Peer and Kieran for last, from uh, last turn. Um, and then he... Yeah, he's playing the lightning bolt from there. So he had he had the one card needed to prevent um, Relic from answering Snapcaster's flashback there. It didn't get counted though, which is... Uh, it got counted on the first bolt, cast and then... Bolt, yeah. yeah, Snap Bolt... Um, so Snapcaster being a really good draw there because uh, without Will being able to cast uh, cast or violin sort of additional lords, Snapcaster is actually going to be able to uh, prevent some damage um, by being a blocker. Um, we will see as well whether... Will chooses to attack with this Mutavolt. He's activated it, but he seems to be considering it now. Um, because I could see a very real situation where Henry just blocks with, you know, everything. potentially everything. Um, probably re Realistically, probably just Snapcaster One Thopter. Um, well, I mean, Snapcaster One Thopter plays around what's on the board. It doesn't play around something else getting put onto the board. Yeah, that is true. But um, if, if you are playing around what's on, like, what's to come, like, you're playing around. The, the third mirror Reacher is it? And he only plays three. Um, yeah, so this one feels a lot closer to a bluff to me from Will. Uh, Henry just opting to block with everything. It does mean that... Wow, he has it. How do you Fair have, enough. How do you have that there? That is sick. That's pretty good. Um, so, you know, well played by Henry for... Choosing to block with everything. That's what I'm saying. I think like you block with everything or you just stick something in front of it. Sure. I, I don't see a scenario where you want to get blown out like that, where you lose all your creatures and they've still got one. So we have <laughs> a boom bust here. So potentially able to set Will back to zero lands again. Um, but Henry also has Goblin Dark Dwellers, I believe, in his hand. Um, right now, not the strongest 
because his graveyard is so curtailed by that Relic of Progenitus. Uh, but realistically, even just getting a 4-4 Menace on the board is pretty good in this spot. Uh, it because blocks well. Yeah. It, it attacks semi-decently. Henry's pretty close to dead, though. Like. Yeah, he's sort of taken a lot of chip damage four. across the course of this game. Um, but he's got a spell snare. That's what really matters. He does have a spell snare, but awkwardly with the way Will's manner has worked out, he's never really had two mana to cast most of his two drops. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also think, like, I looked at uh, Henry's hand, and he, if he'd drawn a land this turn, if he hadn't just drawn a Serum Visions, he mm-hmm. would have been able to, like, activate Wandering Fumeral and, and trade with one of them. Yeah, that's fair. Um, he does find a land, though, so... He's, he has a spell snare and a goblin doctor. Uh, we see Will just cycling Relic of Progenitus here. Um, that's going to be interesting because the scry off Serum Visions, I saw hit an Anger of the Gods. Um, so, with the Dark Dwellers in Henry's hand... Ah, oh, I see, okay. it's just lethal. Fair yeah. enough. That's um, what I'm saying. Like, yeah. they're 3-3s, three he's on 4. He's yep. pretty dead. Um, that, was, that was our matchup. Will McDonald takes it out 2-0. Um, we've got Will McDonald's through to the finals. Yeah. Let's find there out who joins him.